Hi, I'm Pip Waller and this is Being Human, an exploration of what it means to be a person with body, mind, emotions, spirit, <clears throat> living in a community, part of nature and needing to know what to do when things go wrong. So today I'm going to talk about the parasympathetic nervous system and how to activate it how to activate your parasympathetic nervous system. Now, if you watched yesterday's video, you'll remember that the parasympathetic nervous system is that part of the nervous system which unconsciously, automatically, without us um, deliberately doing anything or having to think about it, it activates the part of us which is gonna encourage repair, healing, rejuvenation, and so forth. And, um, the main nerve of the parasympathetic nervous system, one of the main nerves, comes off the brain, comes off the cranium. It's one of the cranial nerves. It's called the vagus nerve. It comes down the neck and it vagus means wanderer. It wanders everywhere in the body. It's got supplies all over the place. So if we can stimulate the vagus nerve, we're basically switching on the parasympathetic nervous system and that is encouraging healing in our body, encouraging repair, rejuvenation, good things, essential things for health. So how can we do that? Well, one great way that we can do that is with singing. If we sing, we basically sing or humming, mm, la 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 la. If you, put, if you do that and you put your hands on your neck, ah, oh, you'll feel that there's quite a, ah, uh, oh, ah, uh, there's quite a vibration there. Well, that vibration of the vocal cords, particularly the, the more you sing really fully and open your throat and go for it, that stimulates the vagus nerve and that switches on your parasympathetic nervous system, which makes you feel more relaxed. So that's one way of singing. Um, okay, a really simple thing you can do anytime, well, pretty much anytime, as long as you've got some water available, you can splash your face with cold water. Splashing your face with cold water, that switches on your parasympathetic nervous system, as does having a cold shower. I'm not very good at cold showers, but I do sometimes try and have one at the end of the nice warm shower. I just gradually ease it into cold, but cold shower switches on your vagus nerve. Now, if you're really plagued by anxiety, right, high levels of stress, high levels of sympathetic nervous system arousal, it's really not a nice feeling. You do need to do a lot of stuff to promote your vagus nerve and cold shower is a good one. Okay, next one, which is completely free, you can do it anywhere, deep breathing. Breathing deeply switches on the vagus nerve, the parasympathetic nervous system. And I love something about this, which is, this is what I love. The parasympathetic nervous system tells your lungs, tells your diaphragm, your body to breathe more slowly and deeply when it's switched on. So that's like the brain tells the body, but here's the thing, if the body breathes slowly, then the body tells the brain, switch on the parasympathetic nervous system. It's a two-way street. So taking charge of your breathing and doing deep breathing exercises switches on your parasympathetic nervous system. I'll do a whole vlog about this tomorrow about some different kinds of breathing you might try that you could do anywhere. Okay, so that's breathing, breathing deeply. Meditation. Now there's a lot of kinds of meditation. Some people are like, I don't wanna meditate, I'm not into it. I used to find it really boring when I was young because I've got a very, a very, very active mind. But you know, there's a lot of different kinds of meditation. You, can, you don't have to just sit there and try not to think about anything. You could take up some sort of meditation, like for example, basic mindfulness, which is quite simple, but also very much, uh, gives your, it gives you something to do, it gives you something to think about. You can do loving kindness meditation. You can do all sorts of kinds of meditation and you can combine meditation with the singing thing by doing chanting, mantra chanting. So there'll be more vlogs about these kinds of meditation to come and also podcasts of guided meditations. Um, so, okay, uh, some sorts of exercise. Actually, really active exercise is a bit more sympathetic nervous system, although that's a good thing to do as well, because if you're stressed and your sympathetic nervous system's turned on and you don't do anything physical, it's like being all dressed up with nowhere to go. So all that energy is there, ready for action, you don't do any. So actually doing some running or high intensity interval training or whatever, something, something that uses that energy actually can notch it down. And then more gentle kinds of exercise also switches on your parasympathetic nervous system. And I personally think the best one is walking in nature because connecting with nature and being in the natural world 
So that is another way to stimulate your vagus nerve, switch on your parasympathetic nervous system. Um, okay, ah, here's another one for that, that feedback mechanism going the other way, and that is parasympathetic nervous system stimulates digestion. So here's the thing, chewing your food, slowly chewing your food switches on the parasympathetic nervous system. So that's a, quite an easy one that you can do if you can set a little reminder and make sure, or oh, if you're just feeling really stressed, you might eat something, but don't bolt it. Eat slowly and chew, 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 and that will turn on your vagus nerve. Um, laughing, absolutely great. I mean, laughing's a bit like singing, isn't it? It's, you can see that it opens the throat and stimulates, physically it actually stimulates the vagus nerve. And there's a whole vlog coming soon about laughing and um, uh, the benefits. And another one is yawning. That's a similar way. Yawning also stretches the throat. Yawning gets loads of oxygen into your body. It's a really, really good beneficial thing. And I'll be doing a whole vlog about, you know, there's laughter yoga. There's going to be one yawning yoga. It's coming soon to your town. And then the last one for today, the last tip for today is stroke your pet. Um, any, oh, of course, if you don't like animals, that won't work for you. But if you do and you've got a cat or a dog, just sit down and give that animal a good old stroke and that will switch on your parasympathetic nervous system and help you relax and heal. So thanks for listening. I'm Pip Waller and this is Being Human.